Hey, this is Andy Fogarty from TheAtHomeWelder.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a very clean, very simple wall mounted pipe handrail. And we're going to do this without having access to any kind of fancy tubing benders or anything like that or, or sending this off to pay someone else to bend this tube for us. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do this and where you can get everything you need in one place to get this done quickly. Now, you can see, grind it off the well, so I didn't grind too much off, but I grind it off enough so it's nice and flush, so when you're running your hand on it, you don't really feel any sort of big bumps or anything like that, which is really what you're going for. You don't want people to run their hands over this and get any sort of snags or anything like that. So having a nice smooth surface is good. Now, you want to pay attention to not dig into the metal too much when you're grinding. This is something that's very easy to do very quickly, especially on round tubing. So, now I'm going to show you how to weld on your brackets very easily with no clamps or anything like that. We're just going to use bracket, our welder, and our speed square. And okay, so I'm going to take my bracket, my speed square, and first I'm going to take my railing, I'm going to butt, butt it up against uh, an edge. So whatever edge you're using, I have this angle on my table. Now, I, so what I've done is I've already marked where I want my bracket to be. So I know I'm going to be putting it right here. Now the beautiful thing about most of these brackets is if you can see here, it's already beveled a little bit. So it's going to fit tubing, which is beautiful, beautiful. So I've already marked my spot. I'm going to put it there. Now, I want to make sure I want to make sure that the 90 degree angle is flat. Now, obviously this depends on how you want this to go, but if you want the curve in to face the wall, so this is my wall over here, then you want to make sure this is flat. Now, if you want this to be facing down for any particular reason, you would turn this up, straight up. I'm going to put my bracket, put it where I want to be, just kind of hold it in place. I'm going to take my speed square and now, I'm going to make sure I don't have anything on my table to mess up my angle. And I'm just going to put my speed square on the table, slide it up to the center, and make sure you're on the center because some of these are beveled as well, but where you have the hole there, it's always going to be pushed up against the wall. So anywhere where you're mounting, you know that's going to be flush against the wall. So I'm going to go to the center of the bracket. Make sure and just kind of push it until I see that I have everything flush. And that I know is a 90 degree angle. Now for this piece, I can basically just take my hand off to show you. But you can see everything is perfectly in line here. I have a perfect 90 degree angle. Now from here you can go to clamp it if you'd like. But I found that most of the time when I try to clamp it, especially on this round tube, things kind of shift a bit and move. Right now everything is perfect. So I can basically just go grab my welder hold this with my thumb and tack this in place and then come back and weld it. So that's what we're going to do. So that's it. Now you can see it's perfect. It's not going anywhere. Perfect 90 degree angle. And all I got to do is just come back and finish up these welds and do this on the other side and we have a perfect railing. So that's it, we are done and finished. All we need to do is, is prime and paint this thing and go install it. So like I told you, very, very simple railing to put together. These, having these wonderful curved pieces just makes everything so much easier. You don't have to worry about finding a shop to have a, a tubing bender to bend this for you and pay a lot of money to make the job not worth it if this is a paying job for you. So, ready to be installed. So, oh, and one more thing, you'll notice this, <laughs> Without these brackets, this looks a lot like a tie-down bar for a truck. Same process, only for a truck, you're going to be putting mounts down here on the bottom. That's it. So I'm Andy Fogarty from theathomewelder.com, and I will see you next time with more tips and tricks for the beginner welder.